Hey Beer Troopers, Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Blog. Thanks for joining me. Taking a look at another beer in Carl Strauss's Imperial Series, and this is their Off the Rails. This is an Imperial version of their Red Trolley, which is their just really traditionally brewed Irish Red Ale that just keeps winning medals like crazy at all the uh, big competitions, GABF, World Beer Cup, that beer just, it wins gold medals all the time. So. They decided to do a ramped up imperial version of it at 8.5% and decided to hop it up a little bit more. There's a good hop character to the regular red trolley if you get it fresh. So we'll see how uh, this one compares. Definitely a uh, filtered beer, very clear, just spot on red color. I mean, it, it gets into maybe dark orange notes towards the bottom of the glass, but you know, modest carbonation coming up. About a one finger kind of off-white, slightly tan head on there. Uh, just a very touch of alcohol legs on the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma on it. Yeah, certainly getting some hops and getting a lot of malt. A lot of sweet malt, caramel malt. Uh, nice fruit notes on there. You get like sort of uh, some berry notes, almost like a cherry kind of, kind of that red berry note on the nose. Some floral notes on there as well. No alcohol, which is a good sign. So uh, let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's mellow and smooth. You can definitely tell the base beer this is Red Trolley. That's just a... I haven't got to reviewing that, but that's just a, a classic example of, you know, smooth drinking balanced Irish Red Ale. This one amplifies it up, but the flavors are a bit more intense. There's more intense hop character and there's more intense malt character on it. As far as the mouthfeel goes, it's a nice medium body. It just makes it really highly drinkable. Getting a touch of alcohol on the back end. There's a big sweetness in there, but then it dries out nicely. Up front, you get some bitterness. Not too intense. It tends to be very floral and earthy. And then right after you get that quick hit of bitterness, bam, that big huge ball character comes into play. Just a really sweet, uh, velvety kind of malt sweetness on the beer. Like big caramel notes. Just, uh, it's a little different than other caramel notes and other beers. It, it's just, I don't know, there's something uh, intense about the caramel. I mean, there's some sweetener, there's some of those dark fruits, almost berry-like notes, like a not quite a raspberry without, like a raspberry without the tartness kind of thing, you know, like more of a cherry-ish kind of note. Big brightness in the back end, but it dries out nicely, you know, with the alcohol and the hops sort of come back in, add a bit of more of an earthy finish to it. So it's a, it's a really nice beer. It's, it's one of these imperial versions that does drink really kind of similar to the the lesser beer and like I said just more intense flavors So off the rails doesn't have the greatest complexity to it But it makes up for it in, in great drinkability and the no, and the big notes that it does have it does really well So it's a really solid beer. I'm gonna go with B plus with this one I uh, recommend checking it out if for one you want to try a you know imperial version of red trolley but also you know if you're a fan or maybe you're not a fan of Red Trolley, you know, try this version. This might be better because of the more intense character of the, the hops and malt in it. So check it out. It's another one from Carl's Imperial Series. I think I've done them all now. So that's going to wrap it up for this review. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.